Welcome back to Long Automotive. Welcome back. We made it to Mountain Meat. Uh, we got everything out of here. Legitimately. 122 gang. Of course, we got my bagged five cylinder swap 122 over here. Got the SEV Marshall lights checking in. And absolutely no issues. The thing was an absolute peach the whole way here. I can't complain. It's a bit rowdy inside, honestly, for what I want to do with it but it, it runs great no issues over here we got Jairs I think this is a 64 Amazon with uh, the Bluetooth rocker panels oh yeah but surprisingly the rest of the car is really good yeah but you know what it took the hit we got Dina Machines over here. Talking to Mr. Mike about his uh, absolute cherry 122 wagon. Which, speaking of Dina Machines, this is Mr. Dean's coupe that he has spent uh, the last month or so perfecting. Absolute perfection. And uh, I love the patina on it. It's still a B18 car, but he's been through everything, brakes, suspension, I mean, you name it. You can check his channel out uh, at Dina Machines on YouTube, and you can follow up on this complete build on this channel. Uh, and the other one over here 
is our buddy Jimmy has driven this thing from, I think, Davis, California. He went to Wisconsin first, and now he's here in North Carolina with this 122 station wagon, which is a hell of a trip. I mean, big mileage put down on this, and big respect for me, honestly, because I love a good road trip. I really do. So, let's do a little walk around. It's like we got a, what, a 240 Classic? Is this a real classic? It is a classic. Look in the window, number 696 of 1600 on that one. You can usually tell by the color. Uh, this one is John MC on Turbo Bricks. This is his PV544 here. I believe this is a B20 swap. Uh, let's check. Let's see. What do we got up in here? Yep, B20. It says it right there. And really just a clean PV. I mean, these things, you guys know, they love to rot. And uh, I love that he has the banjo wheel from a 444 in it. Super nice. I just think the 544s, while they sold a lot more of them, they kind of let it down with the interior styling compared to where they were with the 444, right? Mr. Gina Machines, what do you got to say about yourself? Well, uh, I came out here uh, feeling good. And after today, I'm feeling like a winner. Uh, oh, you, all you have was the, the throttle pedal broke or yeah, something, the throttle linkage? Hold on, let me see the, yeah, first to break down. The car was, you know, the car is a 67 Volvo 122S that I dragged out of the woods. This car actually sat in the woods for 35 years, and I still have the plate on it that uh, it was last registered with, so you can see the sticker is 83 on the car. You don't get patina like this from, you know, just slapping it together. No, I mean, so far we've put about 300 miles on it on the last two days, so um, between uh, my foot hurting because the linkage is tight, and uh, well, it doesn't have overdrive, so it's a little bit loud at 65 miles an hour, and... Uh, Oh, and my, neither of my turn signals work now. So the, the switch on the stock stopped going up and then eventually it stopped going down too. So if that's the only issues I run into this weekend, I'll take it. So it's just a stock B20 uh, Weber carburetor. Nothing too extravagant. You know, we got wild with the wrinkle black valve cover but uh, it is as you see it as it came from the it is as it came from the are you trying to get the washer working? yeah all right we got to take the cover off and yeah and go. Okay. is it crimped on or is it just pull those two nuts off the bottom i don't know i don't remember i had a part before yeah i would think just pull the two nuts off the bottom
So we're here at Mountain Meat, and the venture of the day, we usually go on a cruise. The cruise this time is this guy Steve's place, and he just has like old British car on top of old British car on top of old Volvos on top of straight eight Buicks on top of, I mean, you name it. There's a ton of stuff here. He's got a Thunderbird out there on a the trailer. It's incredible. Um, and I love like just old places like this stuff sitting and, you know, no, it's most of this stuff now has been out here so long. It's going to be rotten and you won't be able to save it. And honestly, I think the value in it is leaving it the way it is. The, major, the majority of it, um, a lot of these cars they're just not super high value but it's cool to see them around in any form you know and not crushed and gone I don't know how many. <laughs> it's got a lot. So this is got more stuff up this hill. So we're huffing it up the hill. We're now in an old chicken house, just stacked to the rafters with motorcycle parts and cars. And that back there is an old uh, 44 coupe split window, which I would love to have. Even a two-door sedan I'd like to have. There's a Thunderbird here that, like, has met a pole. There's tons of stuff in here. Super cool, though. Put the dash on this thing. Engine turn. the most water out of anything I've ever had. It's so bad in here. Like right now, it's not too bad because I have a tarp on it, but just up under there, 
dude, it's an absolute nightmare. I can't even tell you how bad it leaks water, but we'll see. And then the wipers on the 122, I don't know if you guys know, they're really not great. Mine, mine do function, but in any case, we're packing up, headed out, we're gonna get rained on. All right, just pulled up. Uh, it took me a total of right around six hours to bring this thing back home from Mountain Meat. Honestly, mechanically, absolutely flawless. Uh, the car runs fantastic. It uh, it cruises great on the interstate. Uh, the only complaints I have are comfort, really. Um, the thing is way too rowdy uh, to do, like my, my head's buzzing and my ears are ringing just a little bit. Um, from the drive here but yeah mechanically it didn't use a drop of oil it gets 26 miles a gallon on the highway cruising 80 mile an hour really not an issue um i don't know how to calm the thing down honestly uh i think it needs a set of softer engine mounts as a starter um and it's got two mufflers on it already maybe i can take one off and put a bigger round muffler in its place i really don't know but um yeah it did it here it is the car ran great um, so that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.